Hello there, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon. My name is Mo, welcome. This is just a spur of the moment video to kind of give you um, something to watch and um, perhaps something to feel inspired by or just something for entertainment. Um, I am thinking about um, what I wanted to accomplish this week and kind of feeling somewhat, you know, discouraged a little bit about the fact that I didn't get what I wanted to accomplish done. There's a few things that I want to do, um, post daily on Instagram, uh, create more videos and um, videos specific to um, the tarot and um, doing videos with the tarot uh, other than what I do now and I just decided to sit down with a cup of tea and um, draw some cards um, it's getting late it is 9 19 p.m so I thought I'd draw some cards and kind of look into the situation so I'll just turn the camera around and show you what the cards say so I'm using my Rider Waite Smith tarot deck and I'm kind of going to walk you through what these cards are saying because I feel like the message could pertain to um, some of you if you're kind of in the same position. Um, so I, I, I didn't know what to ask the cards so I was like, um, Spirit of the Tarot this is what's going on right now and I just want to kind of talk to you about what's going on and if there's any sort of uh, help you can give me um, I'm open to um, some food for thought so I drew the knight of wands and I was like okay so the knight of wands is me um, feeling driven to carry that wand into um, battle, like to carry that passion in a, in a specific direction and going, feeling energetically like I'm going quickly towards what I want to go to and that I need to go quickly towards uh, what I want to go to. So there is this Knight of Wands energy within me. And, and then I drew the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I drew the Knight of Wands, and then on the bottom of the deck was the Ace of Pentacles. And Spirit was like, this is the purest form of the Pentacles. So this is your you physically um, going for, for the purity of what you want to embody, the Ace of Pentacles. And so you're going from this desert sort of land and you want to go towards more of a garden of abundance more of uh creating that reality of abundance for yourself uh through the drive of your creativity and through just balancing your everyday um desires with what you want to create and then i was like all right thank you um spirit of the tarot i'll keep shuffling and see if any other uh like i kind of want to find out like how do I get to that ace of pentacles how does my knight of wands get to that eight of pentacles energy and I kept shuffling my cards and then the ace of wands came out and the universe was like so this is the ace of wands energy and that's how you get your knight of wands to this ace of pentacles energy is by utilizing the ace of wands energy so by carrying the ace of wands the pure purest form of the wands so it's that pure desire that you have to get something done so just go in the direction of what makes your heart soar go in the direction of what sets your heart on fire as they say sets your soul on fire go in that direction and as you see you're leaving this desert and you're moving into more of a, you're leaving the desert there in the background and you're moving towards uh, a more green land, a more luscious land as you follow that that wand, that ace of wands energy. And you see there's the ace of wands here and then the knight of wands is holding that wand right here. So that's me uh, riding towards what I want to accomplish with that ace of wands in my hand as the knight of wands. So follow what sets your heart on fire. And as you 
as you travel from this desert land uh, towards the lush, more lush green land, towards that land of abundance, you will pass this castle. You will pass uh, things in your life that are important, things in your life that are monumental, um, and they will distract you, um, such as going to the gym or cooking or cleaning or getting your work done or seeing family members or making time for friends. And that castle represents, that castle in the background represents things that you will uh, be drawn to on your, on your journey towards that Ace of Pentacles. And so I was like, okay, so the Ace of Wands is how I get to the Ace of Pentacles. So the, the card on the bottom of the Ace of Wands was the Wheel of Fortune. So as I was thinking about this Ace of Wands and I was thinking about, oh no, I'm going to be distracted by everyday daily things that I need to do when I really want to create this extra um, abundance for myself and for the world around me. And then I turned the saw the card on the bottom and it was the Wheel of Fortune, card number 10, 10 of the Major Arcana. And so that's what the universe told me. The universe told me that the energy is the Wheel of Fortune, which is that life happens, things happen, and you just have to uh, roll with the punches. And if you trust that the universe is guiding you where you need to go, then you know that the wheel of fortune is always turning in your favor. So don't be worried about um, distractions on your journey from this, from this desert to this lush land to this abundant garden here. Just trust the wheel of fortune, trust the universe is working. And even if you get distracted with other things and you can't necessarily create everything that you want to create, you are still moving towards that Ace of Pentacles. So um, that was the message. I don't think it's finished yet um, because I wanted to ask the universe, so what's the best thing that I can do to reach that Ace of Pentacles? Like, yes, I want to go towards what interests me. Yes, I want to draw, go towards what makes me feel good and what makes me feel passionate and creative. And yes, I trust the universe, but I still want to get to that Ace of Pentacles. So what's the trick to getting there? Like, how could I get there? So I want to draw another card to find out. So let's um, ask the universe, how can I get to that Ace of Pentacles? And if this message applies to you, um, feel free to use it for yourself. So the universe, I... I trust that everything's happening to me for a reason. So I trust that the wheel of fortune is turning in my favor, but I still want to make my destination, the ace of pentacles energy that you're talking about. So how can I assure that despite any distractions or, um, you know, responsibilities, how can I assure that ultimately when this journey uh, is over, that I uh, will end up in this Ace of Pentacles uh, Garden of Abundance. Uh, any messages are welcome. Even if it's not a direct message, a message that will spur thought, a message that will spur the answers that I need to receive in regards to getting to the ace of pentacles energy spirit of the tarot universe universe one card please for me and for those who might be um one card please and for those that might be sometimes when i get really anxious for the answer i'll start shuffling the cards faster there we go okay card 20 judgment and on the bottom of the deck, strength. So these are the two cards that came out for the answer about how to get to that Ace of Pentacles. Judgment and strength. So I know this sounds a little bit morbid, but as I was shuffling the cards and saying, I want to get to that Ace of Pentacles energy, help me to um, 
to ultimately end up there. I was thinking about the end of life's journey and how life itself is that night of wands journey. Life itself is about wanting to create that that perfect abundance, that that beautiful life that is inspiring. And year by year, we always have these new goals about how we want to be inspiring, how we want to feel inspired, how we want to feel creative, how we want to feel productive. And it's every year that we feel this and every day that we feel this and every moment that we feel this, that we want to leave a legacy. So the judgment card to me, as soon as I saw it, it kind of reminded me of the end of life journey and how, uh, yes, we we know that we are not necessarily guaranteed tomorrow, but that the universe is saying, trust that by the time you are done this night of wands journey, which could be, which could take 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, 70, 80, 80 90, you will reach that judgment state where the judgment card is that, um, that resurrection from death, you know, and that resurrection from death is when we move from, this current energy to the next current energy. So the universe is like, it's kind of like a joke, like the, the joke's on you. You think that it will be, you will reach that destination, but it'll take you a lifetime to reach that destination. And then we got the strength card on the bottom of the judgment card. When I drew the judgment card, strength was on the bottom. And and I guess strength is just the, the final message. You know, the final message is, you have the strength, continue to be strong, continue to be gentle with yourself, continue to uh, be patient with yourself. And ultimately, this is not a one year journey. This is a lifelong journey. And ultimately, the way that you reach that ace of, of wands energy, that 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 perfection of self uh, is by following your ace of wands, your heart, trusting the universe with the wheel of fortune and continuing to go on that night of wants journey towards that perfect self um, and that journey ends when this current uh, situation ends so trust that when this energy cycle ends when you pass from this life you will ultimately breach that ace of pentacles and you will you will see at the end of the journey that you were indeed strong and you will be able to tell yourself that you are indeed strong so thank you for being here i hope you enjoyed that message if you did um comment, leave a thumbs up or um, subscribe. And I thank you for all my new subscribers. I thank you for my current subscribers. I hope you have a really good week ahead. If it's your week, if you're, if it's your birthday week, happy birthday, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.